Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing something a little bit different. I just wanted to talk to you about homeschooling and why my husband and I have decided that we plan to homeschool our kids. I have about seven main reasons as to why we have decided we want to homeschool. I'll go ahead and start off with those and then once we get a little later into the video, I can just kind of babble a little bit more on some other random reasons, but I do have like my seven core reasons as to why we plan to homeschool our kids. Okay, so my first reason, well, our first reason as to why we want to homeschool our kids is being able to put God first. We completely understand why public schools don't always teach about God. That's understandable. Obviously, we live in America. We are a melting pot here. And I can see why not everyone wants their kids learning about religion if it's not their thing. For us personally, I do want to teach my kids about God. I would love to integrate religion into our teachings. And this is a big reason as to why we want to keep our kids home, just so we're able to instill our faith and our beliefs into them. I know when we were in school, we definitely didn't talk about religion. So this is just a way that we can kind of integrate our own beliefs into our children, you know, on a daily basis. Our second reason is we want to allow our kids to become authentically themselves without any peer pressure or bullying. This is a big one for me. I am one of those people I'm so easily influenced and it's something I've been working on for a long time and it's definitely something that was an issue with me in school. I wanted to be cool. I wanted to be part of the group. I didn't want to be different. If I saw something, somebody doing something, I had to do it. it. I never really thought on my own. I never thought outside of the box. I hate like admitting to something like that, but it's definitely an issue. My husband, the complete opposite. It, it's He is always thinking outside the box. He always has his own ideas. He kind of does the opposite of what anybody else wants to do, which is a huge reason why I love him. And that's a big reason why I want to raise our kids full time at home. Obviously, I do want them to be with other kids every once in a while. We're not completely keeping them from other kids. We live in a community where a lot of other people homeschool, which is great. So, um, you know, on certain days of the week, they'll all get together and they can hang out. But this is a huge reason is I just want them to authentically be able to be themselves I'm so sorry if you can hear my little one screaming in the background. She's very excited playing with her toys right now. Anyway, so we basically just want to be able to have our kids be truly themselves. They can decide what they want to wear. They can decide what they, what kind of music they like. They can decide, you know, just all sorts of things that they're interested in for themselves. I just want them to be able to completely be their own person because absolutely that is something I struggled with growing up. I still struggle with it to this day. And I'm just, I really hope that homeschooling them will provide kind of a, a different route for them to go and just completely be themselves. <laughs> All right. So my third reason is we are able to kind of customize their education. I just want to customize their classes to what their strengths and weaknesses are. I want them to be able to take pride in what they are doing. And if they're really good at math, I want them to be able to excel in that and take pride in that. For instance, our oldest daughter, she is an amazing artist and she excels in math. She is so smart and it's 
to a point where like when I see her do well in her on her tests, it is just so exciting to see her face glow. Now, she is a very smart, well-rounded girl, so she doesn't really struggle in most of her classes, which is great. However, I know when I was a kid, I definitely struggled with a lot of subjects and the subjects that I was good in, I excelled because I was just so proud of myself that I just did better and better and better. Now, this isn't saying that I'm just not going to teach my kids certain subjects if they're bad at it because, of course, we want to strengthen those weaknesses. However, if I see that my kid is excelling in math or if my kid excels in history, I will lean into those subjects just a little bit more with them because if it's something they enjoy, why would I not want to for them to explore that subject more, if that makes sense? Reason number four is I just want to instill the importance of the family unity. Family has become so extremely important to my husband and I over these past couple of years. We are realizing how important family is, how important family time is, how important it is for us to stick together. We sometimes I think don't realize that we don't have forever together. Obviously, hopefully, you know, we all go to heaven and we get that time later in life. But for right now, we really don't know how much time we have together. And this is our way of just spending as much time as we possibly can with them and teaching them how important it is to stick together as a family. We really do want to instill family values in our kids and just remind them that it's so important to stick together. It's so important to love each other. It's just important that we all treat each other with respect. We, we really don't realize that we, we are so blessed to have this time together. And so yeah, that's a big one. We just want to instill family values, remind them of why we spend all this time together. And, you know, I had my kids for a reason. I want to be able to spend as much time as possible with them as I can rather than sending them to school all day. So yeah, instilling family values and reminding them how important it is. Our number five reason is the freedom of scheduling schooling around living rather than the other way around. Now, a huge issue for us with our oldest who does go to a private school, and I'll talk more about that at the end of the video, is we're constantly having to plan things around her school, which is fine, but it's just not really the way that we want to continue living. And we really want to give our younger kids the freedom of what do we want to do during the week first instead of school. Like, I don't want school to be just the first factor in our lives. I don't want to have to be like, oh, okay, well, we can't make this doctor's appointment or we can't do the dentist or we can't go to the museum or we can't go on a hike because we have school. We want to be able to just randomly pick up and go if we want to, you know, go see a play or if we want to go on a hike or if we want to go to the beach. I That's always something that has kind of bothered me with my oldest going to school. I would love to just be able to, you know, wake her up at 9 a.m. and bring her to the beach or bring her to wherever she feels like going that day. Um, and we definitely do that every once in a while. We'll, we'll keep her out of school on a random day just if we really miss her. So, um, but yeah, that's a, another big reason is we just want to have the freedom to kind of do what we want on a certain day rather than having to prioritize school first. Our sixth reason is we want to instill a love of learning. Now, what I mean by this is I despised school. I despised school. I, there was nothing I liked about it. 
I didn't like learning. I didn't like sitting in a classroom. I didn't like a lot of the people I went to school with. And it was miserable. It was miserable for me. And I know that my husband didn't love it either, but you know, he was a lot different than I was in school. And this is just, I want my kids to love learning. I want my kids to love discovering. Now as an adult that I'm not sitting in a classroom for eight hours a day, I love learning. I love gardening. I love cooking. I love learning new ways to do each of those things. I love watching documentaries and I love reading. I love reading about history and I love discovering new things. Whereas in school, I did not. I don't know if it was because I was a kid. I don't know if it was because of the basic classroom. I'm not 100% sure what it is. I know I love learning now and I don't want my kids sitting in a classroom for eight hours a day learning in that way. I'd much rather my kids be able to go outside and learn about the clouds by looking at them and me describing it to them and reading books and learning through documentaries and learning through going out and living rather than just constantly listen to one person talk and telling them about certain events that have happened or events that could possibly happen. I want my kids to learn about rocks and science and nature through going out into it and living it. <laughs> I think that's just such a more fun way of learning. My seventh and final reason for wanting to homeschool our kids is to be able to redeem my own education. I have not been in school in 12 years and my brain is a little fogged up. Uh, this is a great way where I can reteach myself math, reteach myself history, reteach myself science, and I can continue to grow my own brain and continue to learn new skills or skills that I have forgotten. This is a way that I can teach my kids that learning is never done. You can learn forever for the rest of your life. And I also struggle with some things. And I think that's a great thing to teach my kids is it is okay to not know everything. It is okay to struggle. I am not going to know everything. I am going to have to go to my husband for math problems, probably a lot. I'll be texting him real quick. Hey, how do you do fractions again? Because he's really good at that. That's something I struggle in. Whereas I know more about cooking and gardening, things that he doesn't know as much about. So this is something where him and I can kind of come together, relearn skills, teach each other skills while also teaching our kids. Okay, so now that we've gotten to like the seven basic reasons as to why we plan to homeschool our kids, I just wanted to talk a little more about why we're going to homeschool our younger kids, but why we don't homeschool our oldest. So we are blessed enough to send our daughter to, our oldest daughter to private school. And the reason I'm comfortable with doing this is because my mom works there. I feel very comfortable having my mom there. Um, I'm comfortable with the area that she goes to school in. All of her friends go there and she is older. So we didn't want to just completely uproot her lifestyle so she could be homeschooled. What I love about this private school is it's smaller classrooms. They're more catered to what she is really good at. So her being really good at math, she is in a higher level of math. She's just not at the same fourth grade level as everybody else is, which is great. And this way they can, you know, kind of cater to her levels at what she is at. Yeah, that's a big reason as to why we keep her in the private school. We just don't want to uproot her lifestyle. Like I said, her friends go there and my mom is there. And 
I feel comfortable having her grandmother with her at school all day. We completely understand that not everyone is able to homeschool. However, we really planned on being able to do this. We have lived the last like three years of our lives in order to make it possible to homeschool. We lived in a trailer as a family of five in order to afford our dream home, which is on 10 acres. And we are very lucky to be able to have this space to be able to give our kids the education that we want to. And we can just go on nature walks right outside of our front door, which is great. And we definitely had to make sacrifices in order to get to where we are today, in order to make homeschooling accessible for us and achievable. But yeah, I mean, those are basically our reasons as to why we want to homeschool. If you also want to homeschool your kids, go ahead and comment below and let me know your reasons. I would love to hear some of them. And I hope you guys have a blessed day. Thanks for watching. Bye.